In this video blog post and tutorial today, we're going to talk about returning visitors. We want to track certain returning visitors using Google Analytics. Now before we get started, some basic assumptions. First, I'm going to make the assumption that in your Google Analytics uh, system, you've already got it set up, it's working properly, it's on your website. If that's not the case, um, the rest of this tutorial is not going to help you. We're also going to assume that you have goals predefined things that you want people to do on your website and values assigned to those goals that are uh, well, fiscally, financial, uh, financially defined. Again, if you haven't done these things, there are other blog posts on my website, ChristopherSPen.com, that will help you uh, get the basics in order. So let's talk about the situation. We have places on our website where we know high value people go, people who could be customers, people who exhibit the buying patterns of customers, or maybe even people who are customers and are and are coming back they're they're back on the website for other reasons maybe they read our blog every day maybe they uh, consume other content but we know that they are high value and we know that we want them back again now in Google Analytics those people would be called returning visitors because we can track to see how many people come uh, back to the website so that's who we're after why are we talking about this well returning visitors from a conceptual perspective, don't need to be sold on our value. When a new visitor comes to our website, they they kind of get to know us. They may have heard of us, us through social media, through advertising, or through some other form. And they've they've come onto our website. They're like looking around the place. Eh, do I really want to hang out here? Do I want to invest my time, my attention here? Returning visitors, we don't have that problem. When they're back, they're back because we've established a relationship from a previous interaction. So we don't need to be sold on our value. So automatically, we have an audience that is more receptive to what we have to offer. With returning visitors to specific parts of our site, <clears throat> we are after efficiency in advertising. It's great to run ads. It's great to run digital advertising and uh, remarketing in general. Anyone who's been to our website, we want them back. But if we know there are certain people that we want back from uh, specific pages, specific blog posts that uh, really we need those people back. We can be very efficient in our advertising. So even if we're facing a budget crunch, uh, we can at least go after the most valuable people and those those returning visitors to specific parts of the website. <clears throat> and finally, retargeting has the highest ROI in digital advertising. Again, we're getting people back. We don't need people. We don't need to establish the relationship with our advertising or or tease people um, about some potential value. They've been to our website. They know what we've got, uh, and it's just a matter of getting them back. So, what are we going to do today? Today, we're going to look at setting up uh, custom audiences in Google Analytics that can talk to AdWords. Then, setting up a custom segment to mirror those settings to, to map and analyze those people. And finally, uh, make sure that we can talk to Google AdWords and, and show ads to those people. First steps first, we're going to define the audience. So, let's go into Google Analytics. <clears throat> and inside Google Analytics, we're going to choose our admin. What we want to pay attention to is down here called audience definitions, and we want to create an audience. I'm going to create a uh, new audience here. And let's say I want returning users because we know these people have come back, and I want to go after people who are have been back in the last 90 days. Uh, you can go, do up to uh, a year. Well, let's go. In fact, let's go a year. Let's that that could that could be fun. <clears throat> um, Next, we don't just want any returning visitor. So let's click on this pencil icon. We want to people see people who are returning visitors and who have been to a very specific part of our website. So if I go to my website and I go to my public speaking page, this is a page that for me <clears throat> is important because it helps establish that uh, you know they, people are on this page for a reason. They, they want to book me to speak. And so I want to take this part of the URL, the public speaking. I want to have page. There we go. Contains public speaking. So now, instead of everybody, this is a super high value page. People who've been to this page are there for a reason, and it's not just because they're looking around. So there's our audience. We're going to call this the public speaking audience. 
and choose destination where we want to publish. Assuming you've got uh, Google AdWords uh, set up, you can connect to your AdWords account. If you don't have AdWords set up, that's okay. Um, you can always go ahead and link up your AdWords account later. I'm going to publish this audience. Looks good. Okay, now I also, before I do anything else, I want to get to know this audience a little bit. So I'm going to go to my audience here. Now, <clears throat> funny enough, you actually can't create, you can't use a, an existing audience like that as a segment. I'm not sure why, uh, but so we're going to do um, the exact same thing with conditions. So we're going to uh, user type is returning visitor and page contains public speaking and we'll call this speaking audience returning hit save and now if I extend back and look over year to date and now we get a sense of just how many or few people we're talking about if we move to a weekly view here that's better so now i've got about 87 people who in the year to date have been to that public speaking page as a returning visitor so not new but have come back over and over and over again at least twice uh, granted, that is not a lot of people, but it's worth at least being able to see them. So now let's look at them and do a little bit of user exploration. Uh, let's actually do user flow. And I want to know where are these people coming from? So I'm going to change that to source medium. Google Organic, Direct, Marketing Over Coffee, my newsletter, good. So those give me some insight as to where this highly valuable audience is coming from. Where do they go? They go to the public speaking page. A lot of them drop off, almost 90% drop off. So I want to highlight traffic through here. And where else do they go? They go to look at buying a book, why they're on my website, et cetera, et cetera. And then they start hitting the blog. So that's useful information that gives me a sense of who these people are. It also gives me a sense of what pages I might want to work on improving. This page, sure, for sure, I want to reduce the drop-offs on that page. I want to at least get people to fill out a form and not just vanish. That's what that red uh, indicator is right there. I also want to get more people to this page. So my next step, if we go back to our plan, is we've created the segment, we've matched the settings, we run some analysis, the path analysis uh, here, and now we want to run some ads. So my next step would be to fire up Google AdWords and maybe run some ads specifically to this audience. And it's not a lot. You can see it's a, uh, 89 people. And I want to show ads reminding people to book me to speak at their events. Again, because we're advertising to basically 89 people, it's not going to be hugely expensive. I can probably do a really good job on just a few dollars a day, uh, maybe even three or four dollars a day. Uh, and so I would be able to, to capture value. Now, if I wanted to do additional audiences, I certainly could go back into uh, admin here, go back into our audiences. You'll see the... Uh, the memberships and the advertising audiences that are in AdWords. I could create ones for different books or people who did not buy uh, something but uh, showed up um, in in e-commerce things. So we've got a lot of different ways to slice and dice our audiences to get to know them and then be able to show ads to them. So to recap, we have figured out how to define our audiences and create segments understand those audiences and how they behave and what pages I might need to affect on my website in order to improve them and then run uh, Google AdWords ads to them. The reason we're doing this, efficiency. It's all about efficiency. We know that remarketing is the highest ROI and if we can target the people who we don't need to resell on our value, they're returning visitors, that's terrific. That means that 
we are likely to almost help them pick up where they left off because we want these people back again. We want these people who have been high value places on our website to come back to us and to eventually buy something from us. And again, the most interested people in us, these are the folks uh, who are most likely to, to buy something as opposed to some random stranger on the internet. So in short, that is how we track returning visitors to certain parts of our website with Google Analytics. It's free to everyone to do this whole setup. AdWords can be as little or as much money as you want to spend. And it's a great way to recoup value and remarket to the people who matter to us most. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to visit my website, ChristopherSPen.com or CSPen.com. And if you have a chance while you're on the website, please do uh, feel free to hire me to speak. But <clears throat> the one thing I do want to make sure that you know how to do is make sure that you sign up for the newsletter. Uh, the newsletter is one of the uh, most useful things I do. It's a weekly newsletter. I send it out every Sunday night slash Monday morning, and you get a chance to catch up on all the week's news. I don't sell your address, but of course you will get uh, marketing materials about my stuff uh, from me. So again, thank you for watching.